8,000 miles might separate New York and Hong Kong, but the two cities have long been close as business associates. That was in evidence recently when the Yale Club of New York played host to a celebration of milestones shared by the Big Apple and local Hong Kong organizations. The Trans-Pacific Gala Dinner commemorated the 25th anniversary of the Hong Kong Association of New York, the 30th anniversary of the Hong Kong Economic Trade Office of New York, and the upcoming campaign of Think Asia, Think Hong Kong, which will promote the city as an international business center, the financial center of Asia, and the global gateway to China. Amid challenging economic times in the United States, American businesses increasingly have looked to China as a revenue source. Donald Tong, the Hong Kong Commissioner for Economic and Trade Affairs in the U.S., emphasized the importance of attracting business from the other side of the Pacific. We believe that Hong Kong is a great place uh, for, uh, for U.S. to market their products. Um, Hong Kong is also a great place for establishing uh, U.S. Uh, commercial presence um, as their Asia-Pacific uh, regional headquarters or offices. Tong pointed out that Hong Kong also maintains the largest trade surplus of any of the U.S.'s trading partners. In the same vein, Connecticut Governor Dan Malloy, the keynote speaker, stressed the importance of convincing Chinese students to study at one of his state's best-known assets, the Yale Club's namesake school, Yale University. For undergraduate as well as graduate and doctoral students, uh, we're very interested in attracting more uh, Chinese talent to study um, uh, in, uh, in Connecticut. We believe that that would foster additional economic exchanges. As a gateway to China, Hong Kong is clearly well poised to encourage more trade between the world's two largest economies. Derek Bosco reporting from New York.